it worked my gosh oh yes okay fine and how can i share this link so this is the stream link right it's shareable this is the shareable stream link right okay awesome thanks mm, i can email this i'm live yay okay Whew. painting time welcome welcome uh, with the link Sending the link. Hopefully, you can join. Where are we? Okay, right here. Hey, uh, can you try if I send you a link? Uh, if that link is working for. Uh, link link uh, here we go uh okay ek hai tu try karu shakto kare me tula link dili the link var jaun na is that link working try kar to ga ekda मी तुला एक लिंक ईमेल के लिए ती बग बर होती है का काय काय ओ मी त्याला लिंक केली आहे ओ घ्या ओ नाही झाली लिंक अरे यार आता ह्या स्ट्रीमची लिंक कशी शेअर करू मी हा सापडली ओके फाईन अरे देवा कटबर्ड कोण दे एडिट सब्जेक्ट लिंक लिंक please use this link okay so ओके क्लोज आय होप यूर हियर आय होप यू कॅन हियर मी आय एम लाईव माय नेम इज अश्विनी आय पेंट युजिंग कलर just like all other painters i paint using color and color theory let's do so i use color theory and uh, 
my friends call me color scientist because uh, i'm using a lot of logical ideas to um share how i perceive and paint so the first idea is to be able to perceive and what do you mean by perceiving it's uh, perceive the relationships of color with one another so uh yeah So we are painting uh, the holiday cheer of painting today. I have this reference photo and it took me a while about 15 minutes to get started set up with the live stream as uh, I'm exploring this new um the setup or camera setup that you can see right now on your screen. Uh yeah, so I hope that it's helpful to have the photograph as a reference photograph right in front of you as you do that. I have one more new camera. One is going to be focused on the painting and the other one is going to be focused on the palette. So let's begin uh, without further ado. Let's begin. I will check my email quickly to see if... Uh, Okay. Yeah, I had to change the link, so I'm not seeing anyone here uh, who have signed up, which is fine. I sent you a new link, uh, this particular live stream link on e via email. So please check your inbox and we shall begin. I will start showing up the palette here. I have uh, laid my full spectrum palette and uh, section it to this so that's the palette right there um, and yeah we have a good view of the painting I hope so uh, I can slightly move over. Hi, welcome, welcome. Okay, I'm just waiting for uh, the cap, the cameras to. Hmm, no. So how about move the camera over like this? You can still see my. I promise I had this. Uh, I had this set up. Ah move over okay there we go so i just moved the painting slightly over you can see the palette right here if i move it over there is the palette okay let's begin uh, uh all i need is so i'll just quickly share the So I, I have a full spectrum palette here. Um, I have a yellow that is uh, cooler. I have a yellow that is warmer than two oranges. One is warmer orange, one is a cooler orange. What is warm and cool is um, orange leaning more towards yellow, orange leaning more towards red. Then I have two reds. Um, I have a magenta, quinacridone magenta. Then on the left side, um, traversing from the yellow into the green, there are two greens, one is yellow green, the other is um, blue green. Then I have two blues, one is uh, green blue, 
and then the other one is blue blue and i also have an ultramarine blue that is a redder blue and i, I have uh, let's see what tube is this this is a uh, cobalt violet it's a beautiful violet and uh, i'll just add some white onto my canvas i hope you can see well yeah all good Uh, I I will uh, use just a, just any brush to so I have a little medium on my palette just a little medium uh, that I'll use to soften my canvas just warm up my canvas with it's a uh, it's not to saturate the canvas with this medium so that just the paint is flowing nicely smoothly if you have any questions at all uh, feel free to ask in the chat uh, hope you're able to join with the new link and uh, it's going well everything is looking fine the painting the palette there we go okay Okay, mm. now I'm going to take a brush and before that I need paper towels which I hadn't taken before. Just any paper towel to clean the brushes. Here. So with my small brush, uh, the synthetic brush, I will be, so there are three, uh, there are three um, baubles, the Christmas ornaments there in the picture uh, with a blue um, background or a blue ground and a silver um, green and a cooler pink red. So I will choose to paint the red one and uh, I will draw it first. So just use a red uh, okay uh, a little closer okay um, it's a circle so just thinking about the geometry I'm going to mark uh, where I want the side right here I want it here the side the top uh, the top here somewhere here and what I mean by somewhere is uh, that I need room for the shadow because it's casting a shadow on the ground and then on the bottom uh, here. So I have these four positions within these four positions I can draw a circle. That's a nice, beautiful, happy, round circle i'm just going to check if you have popped in the chat uh, okay so once you have that circle uh, turn up the brightness okay 
uh, once we have the circle going forward uh, with the drawing of the shadow on the ground, I'm going to choose uh, my blue green. It doesn't matter what color I'm choosing. I mean, it's your choice uh, to use a color that is going to make sense in your drawing. And I'm not drawing with a pencil. All I'm drawing is with a so the side of the shadow is right here at the bottom uh, the shadow is going this way and then it connects like this so right now I'm using lines if you notice I'm using lines to construct this image I'm not rounding it's it's just for the sake of accuracy and precision uh, if I start rounding this right away I want enough room space for myself to experiment and to actually color construct this image uh, okay uh, start painting so, so taking a brush what I want is uh, the light and the shadow structure of this uh, all is going well chat awesome so I want to find the light and shadow structure uh, there is shadow there is light so looking at this uh, somewhere here is the shadow something like this so that's that's shadow uh, and I for this demo I will just go right ahead with the colors that I see and start putting them so the very first color that I see is that uh, big circle of the reflected uh, Uh, so the light that is reflecting uh, source light it's right here and it's it's a yellow light so I'm going to get that yellow light and it's a circle the next thing I see around that is a it's an orangish red and as a colorist, I am going to paint the colors that I see, relating them with one another. So that is happening there. So that's my orange. I am going to begin with straight out of the tube saturated colors um, so that once I'm happy with those colors, their relationships with one another, value relationship, then I can go on and adjust those colors to uh, what I actually see. So the next one is uh, a red. So right away into my red. Uh, and at the same time, I'm going to think about the drawing. The drawing is going. Here. So it's going all around. It's all around. It's like an eye. But I'm. I mean, it's fine not to label anything, but at the same time, it's fun to see something abstract within something. So, here we go. Just painting. Okay. 
Okay, that's how I'm color constructing one color next to the other. This is this is more like in rainbow, yellow to orange to red. It's a fun painting. Okay, moving on. Uh, we're still at the light side. Uh, moving towards the shadow. And at this point, the circle is important to me to consider the drawing of the circle because it's a specific object that uh, we are portraying. Mm. Okay, now when I look at the bottom uh, down here, uh, there is a blue, the blue uh, under color, the blue paper that is underneath this object is sitting on. So it is cooler so in relationship to this red it's a cool red it's in light and this side it's it's more like a blue it's like right away blue so i'll mix uh, the magenta with some white actually yeah this is now palette mixing brush mixing And at the same time, thinking about the relationship of it. So going around. Like that. Like that. There we go. Now I'm pausing here, reassessing the relationships. Now I need a need a blue blue. So I'm going to my ultramarine blue. And uh, ultramarine blue is a beautiful uh, blue. Uh, if you were here for my color uh, blues, uh, the color lab uh, one, on one of the Fridays, I shared about the different blues, their relationship to one another. So ultramarine is a redder blue. So going around that shadow that I'm seeing on this. Uh, this is like a crescent moon shape that is cut into half. I'll quickly check if I have any emails from you and if you're able to access properly. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Going on. Mm. What if I Oops, no, this is not what I, uh, okay, time to sync me. Okay, I'm right here, sending emails with a link to this webinar so you can join. I'm going back to painting. So now you would say that I, when I have the blue, uh, blue, blue, blue um, paper underneath, why would I add a blue here? 
that's because i'm looking at the relationship the blue paper is is a cooler blue it's a blue leaning more towards uh green so you can watch my uh blue tutorial on youtube and uh, where you can find the uh, relationship in between the blue how they respond how what are the hues and what about this in between so for this in between i'm going to select uh, the violet that i have uh, just a connection between the magenta and the blue there we go uh, and uh, so in here i see uh, in between where i where there is a white gap i see a bright bright orange red uh, it's pretty bright but it's moving towards red so see how this how's that okay that's good moving on so in between i'm just cleaning my brush so uh, it's clean for the next dipping into the next one moving on i'm going to get this shadow this looks um, some kind of green so let's just go for it this green is going to be super bright yet i will go for it i love bright and this is going to give me a foundation i promise we will tame uh, and we will modulate this green this is where i can uh, articulate the shape more uh, so adding on some more lines Okay, so forming the light and shadow relationship on and on and on. I like that. Moving forward, now it's time for that uh, blue green. Uh, so for that, I'm using the turquoise blue with some white. Uh, and looking at its value when i squint or close one eye or things like that it's uh, lighter than this magenta it is lighter and it's catching the light so let's start here once you have the these relationship you can keep calibrating and altering uh, fine tuning i would say altering fine tuning wow such a nice word so you first tune try to tune it like a radio you know you start the radio find that frequency and once you catch the station you keep fine tuning so that the audio is clear uh yeah Okay. Going around, and so far I haven't changed any brushes. Just one brush for each and every color. Uh, yet I make sure in my paintings when I'm 
painting larger bigger studio work i use one brush for the warm so one brush for the cools because adding you know same brush it may uh, shift that hue uh, if uh, say for example if i painted this orange and now going into the turquoise then it will change that turquoise it is a complement orange in So now the fun begins. Now it's time to keep articulating. This is the first pass. Let's see if you are here. Okay. So time to change the paper. Nice and clean brush. Uh, okay, now we'll go for what I'm actually seeing. Uh, this has some. Now I also think about the edges once these all these colors are laid in. This is going. So softer edges, this ball uh, or uh, this bobble is one solid thing. It's so nice going in a spiral. So. In mm. Little red. Or, uh, see house yeah if you have any questions just ask away I'll be happy to answer them this is not quite a circle circle because this is pointing to one side this is more like an oval like that And I can cut in that. Now I'll, I'm seeing a shift, a variation between this red and this red. So this side of the red is uh, cooler. It's darker. So time to manifest that. Bring in some magenta onto the top where the light is not hitting as much. Uh, so in these reflective Christmas baubles, the, the values are really important because they're striking the light. And so the only light thing is that uh, light shining on this. So going around. Uh, I can uh, here I can introduce on the other side of the spectrum. I can introduce because such a deep dark a little going around. It's still dark. I'm adding a little uh, purple into that. Just mixing on the canvas now. Um, a la prima, mixing into what's underneath. Shifting the colors just little by little. Okay, nice. Love it, enjoying it. And hopefully you are too. 
so because there is light here i can add a little orange uh, yeah. i'm gonna keep shifting that blue here uh, to a mixture of ultramarine with uh, my purple and it's very dark deep uh, the light is not reaching at all so i have to shift my value as well and also lose this edge into the shadow part um, because uh, if i define each and every edge it's a uh, Each and every edge will demand something. It will uh, demand the attention of the viewer's eye um, that, okay, look at me. Um, and looking at that edge is not bad at all. It's just that, how do you see the world with your eyes when you're looking at something? Each is each and everything equally available to your eyes to see, comprehend? Or some things are more in focus, some things are less in focus. How does that work? Mm, there is this beautiful pink, another value of this magenta. Uh, going around like that coming around this is a sharp edge here because it's separating from the background so that's a sharp one mm. I need a magenta Yeah, that magenta. Uh, yeah, so far so good. And I'm linking an orange with my... Um, so a brighter red. A red leaning towards the orange. Because this patch here, uh, it's quite bright. Yet, um, as I'm looking at it, It's like a smiley face. It's smiling. <laughs> and yeah, the top, it still remains pretty dark. Uh, so I'll keep working on making it dark. Let's see, time check. Okay, what time is it? Let's do work for 10 more minutes and we'll call it done. There is a dark patch right here. Looking at shapes. And then if I find these shapes like patchy, which is not my intention, after laying them down, I can just unify them. As I lay down, I anyway find the relation. Mm. It's still dark, dark, dark. Pretty dark. Hope you're enjoying. Mm. Let's see, how's the chat? Okay. Uh, so I want to think about the whole and not just one thing. So the whole says that uh, the shadow and the background is lagging behind. 
as compared to what we just added onto the bubble. It's dark, dark, dark. Okay. Okay. Mm, working on this shadow here, and then we will add the. Um, okay. Change papers. Is everything okay? So now it's time to dial the shadow down uh, bringing it to its truer color so starting with that green uh, still greener on the side and now i'm switching to my blue green which is the what color is that it's a it's pretty dark Let's see what hue is that. It says manganese blue hue. So I'm using manganese blue, which is a blue closer to its green, blue green, or green blue, uh, green blue. Because it's a blue that is going towards green. Now I feel like I need uh, to dial its chroma, the intensity a little down. So instead of adding the full complement of red, I'm adding a purple so that purple anyway has a red and it's not as uh, strong as the red. And I'm also going to lose this edge here. Uh, let's see. There is a occlusion happening here where right light is not reaching at all Let's soften the edge ambient occlusion such a nice <laughs> term i really enjoy these terms okay softening okay here what's happening here how about i add some orange into that because mm, that green is so strong and let's see what adding orange does it's darkening it it's not helping as much it's fine the variation and also what is happening as this is that core shadow where it's the ball is actually touching the ground and then it's moving away. So as it moves away, the light uh, from the transition from light to shadow, it's a little warm. I'm just merging this edge. Oh, it looks delicious. A little bit of turquoise into that. So orange is warm warmer than green so it just warmed up so in order to cool it down i'm adding the turquoise again mm, squinting okay i still need a deep 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 edge here there we go okay fun going around with that ambient occlusion softening soft so fun <laughs> uh, it's still deeper over here so working with my blue so within this one single shadow shape, imagine how many variations we're doing. Just one color shape looking at 
one color next to the other next to the other Okay, there is that. And there is that. Okay, moving on uh, the background. Mm, background needs help, support. Let's offer that support. So, is everything going well? Cool. I'm going to my ultramarine blue, pull it out, add white into that. Now on this green, I'll start bringing it closer to what I see. Ultramarine, white, and a hint of the blue, green blue. And if I have to shift something, okay, something fell in my studio. It's my mall stick. It was <laughs> uh, leaning against the this pallet table. As I was mixing, it just fell down. So without shifting the value as much, I'm, all I'm doing is shifting the hue to what I see. And this is another opportunity to carve out the shape of the... Uh, this circle nice round appearance to it. And also carve out the shadow. There is a transition between the light and the shadow that we shall get into. If, yeah, we can. I don't mind painting, spending time with you. Uh, and within this, uh, there are variations. So, for example, here it's like redder. Then in this area, it is more mm, it is bluer. So within even that, there are transitions. Again, fine tuning the radio. Mm. Now I need focus. Perhaps this is where I needed that mall stick which fell down. Okay, pretty good. Unify, unify, unify the surface so that it's not patchy. Looking awesome. Hmm. Okay. Okay, now this transition here. Uh, let's see. This is how you can get the transition. And we find the color too. So this is where light is turning into shadow. If this is the half uh, tone. We are using a hue to state that half tone and half tone is something that is not in light, not in shadow. It's half and half. It's half light, half shadow. How's that? Half and half of the painting. Hmm. Is it even visible there on the screen? That was the email. Okay, and uh, I 
really enjoying. You can tell. <laughs> okay. Uh, now it looks like okay, it's coming softly, swiftly, transitioning from light to shadow. Uh, the ball still needs work. I'm going to switch brushes because the brushes so now uh, uh, green green. So switch, switch the towel, paper towel. The the highlight there is so bright. Introducing my white into it. It's so bright. Feel free to build up that highlight. It's, it is bright. Uh, I need something. What's that? I'm mixing a light red with, uh, hope you can see the palette and yeah, mixing, 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 going into this, shifting the hue, same value, different hue. Uh, what do I need? This here is actually pretty good. Or it's bright, bright and violet ish. And then it's shifting into little depth darkness as it goes around. Using the brush to define that hard, hard, I mean, not hard, sharp edge that will bring the bobble out. And then he gave other brush too that I was using, if I can find it. So to cut in, to cut in and then refine this. Okay. Is it looking down? Need this blue, purple blue to help me with this. In any way, we need to lose this edge at the same time. Have this edge. Nice. Adding a hint of uh, magenta into that. So it's turning purple-ish. Love it, love it, love it. I hope you're enjoying as much I am. <laughs> so as much value transitions you add in between... Uh, light and dark the more realistic looking um, vibe that it will offer you the you know usually uh, there is transition uh, it's not abrupt it's not uh, it's not a shock of something from one thing to another it's a gradual shift we're working on this round Nice. Mm. What? Okay. A 
softening these transitions between the edges of this shadow transitioning like into shadow soft 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 Pretty soft. Still need that occlusion uh, that seemed to have gone missing while I was softening. Okay. I haven't yet uh, worked on the what time is it? Uh, yeah, we started. Uh, we still have ten minutes. We started late. Uh, I mean, I started late because of the technology. <laughs> but because of the same technology, we're here watching, enjoying. Okay, precision and... Uh, Articulation. Moving on, let's add this uh, this uh, head. I might use a smaller brush here. Uh, if I could find one there. So a little bit of this and this head, this hand, this holder, bobble holder. It's in the shadows. And I'll check the angle. It's starting here. It's in the. It's not in the light. It's in the shadow. So it is going to remain in the shadows. Uh, there is a blue. There's a green. There is a blue. Blue angle. Okay, and now there is some kind of deep. Uh, so I'm going to take my red and mix it with the blue for the deep, deep, deep brown. Uh, where, wow, such a pretty color. Love it. Uh, back to blue, just carving that shape out. And back to green, I mean turquoise. Um, this is uh, this brown that we just mixed. It's so, since it is attached to this. It has a, ha has a little handle like thing. Uh, so this may use some more green into it as mm -hmm. it is round. It's round, so I need to make it like a cylinder from top. There we go. And go back to making this uh, then back to that brown. The space in between, just brush strokes. All I'm doing is turning my brush. Hmm, how's that? Need something else. That this and this needs to be uh, darker. Mission making that darker. So darker in the context of. So I'm using that complement of purple. I mean, non complement purple and green. 
uh, if i add red into that green it's going to lose its uh, chroma and i'm still interested in the chroma there we go redefining that shadow so you keep adjusting readjusting adding something removing something darkening something lighting something based on what you see or in relationship to what else there is in the picture soften 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 so that is a reflective surface that uh, that bubble this is a reflective one it's it's going to reflect light which we need to convey there's still many different colors within even i'm if i'm adding an orange it's in context of shadows because this whole thing in the shadow even if i'm adding it the yellow it's in the shadow red it's being reflected into this you able to see that oh yeah just working on the drawing because i found the drawing a little wonky which is fine that's why oil paint is there you can shift things even in acrylic you can once it's uh, you can paint over it what medium you're using depending on that oh i'm contaminating my yellow I need to carve that out with something deeper around it so it makes sense to what its action is soften 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 unify soften unify soften okay looking pretty good another pass of the shadow
Okay. Uh, I'm just going to deepen the background one more time. We touch it. So around here, I still see some white of the paper. It's brush, dragging the brush. Pushing the paint into the canvas. Okay, last but not the least, before we call it done, is softening this whole. Actually, let's use a soft brush. So, softening it all. You can see my paper towel, it's an abstract artwork. Perhaps I can frame it. As a, as a reminder that this happened because of this. So this is a part, an equal participant of the process. That each thing on my palette, brushes, paper towel, everything is equally important. Everything equally matters uh, while making this painting. Softening. At the, as I'm softening, I'm also looking at uh, if there is any striking drama going on, if like deep deeper ideas that I may have missed so time to bring we're almost done Oh, it's glowing, yay! Woohoo! Deep dark here. A little here. Around here. Mm. And then... Dark-ish here. And here. Enjoy. There is now I can go into smaller areas with uh, carrying details, little more information, little more information in relationship to what I already have, uh, not breaking any structure. Uh, These are again brush strokes, not okay. This is so fun. Oh, it's coming along. Okay, now all of that lay in. Drop and drop and drop and drop. Oh, 
Okay. What time is it? This is when we started about an hour back. Okay, this brush that I'm using, this this here, and it seems to be harsher while I'm softening things. So, I switch to this. Warmth into that because it's in the light. That one that was there, but I almost lost that one. I mean, it's when I compare it to this shape, it's cooler yet warmer. So. Okay, Ashwini, soften. Mm. Who can tell I'm having fun? And if I'm having fun, there's a potential that you're also having fun with it. depth into that too. Whoop. Wish actually I can invite some magenta into that which I'm almost out of. And uh, so if I'm becoming, if I'm not making an effort to put the paint that is over back on my palette, it is going to just limit my experience to dealing, working with whatever I have and then may not be as uh, accurate, precise, or uh, that may not actually serve the purpose. Okay, so just Finishing our final touches, I promise. Thank you for coming, actually. Um, I'm sorry, the first live stream, uh, that link that I shared on the, uh, via email, I mean, that uh, uh, the live stream link I shared with you uh, for the class, that didn't work. Uh, but this experience is uh, making me efficient in handling the online world of uh, live streams, webinars. So learning opportunity.
I keep seeing things, so because I'm having fun, I want to put them and make it more realistic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Carve in, carve out. This goes like a smile whoop. Hmm. I am loving it. How about you? Okay. Softening this here. Wrapping it around, going into shadows. And then just stop here. Look at that. One color next to the other, next to the other, into a uniform veil of color. They're all coming together into a choreography. This is a color choreography. This is beautiful. This is like, you know, world. This is like emerging from one. Dancing colors. Happily dancing colors. Now we call it done. Keep painting. So I'm in Seattle area and uh, oh. Monitoring chat is so important on here. Uh, so it's fi uh, about 5, it will be almost 5.30 p.m. here in Seattle. It's making it smile a little more. I really want to go inside the white there, the light goes down. Whoops. Hi, that's me. Just taking a paper towel. And it's snowing outside, so um, sorry for making the camera move. Uh, clean brush. Uh, yeah, so it's snowing outside, so I'm, I am wearing a nice bright red uh, sweater. 
It's my favorite. It keeps me warm. It's red and the color of the bauble. So matching the theme of the day. I'm just moving the paint around, softening it a touch. Making it to look as real. In that process, I'm losing some brightness, intensity, which is fine. The option is to come put it back. Take the paint on the brush. Put it back. Look at that. It's like vibrating. It's vibrating energy, pulsation of uh, light. One color to the other. It has an aura. It is alive. It's breathing. How's that? I'm just taking a little white. And can you actually see it or can you can just see my face in the middle? Because I'm leaning forward. There are some areas that I may need help with. Uh, is this here? No, it's just extra time and thought into the process to bring it to fruition, to, to acknowledge it for what it is. And at this stage, if I find myself tired, I would just come back and then add uh, I give it another uh, another uh, attempt. Uh, not the whole thing, but like these smaller things. If painting is, I don't know if paint is uh, not uniform at some places, if the circle is not round, something like that. See one more time again. Just another highlight here. It's singing. It's singing. It's singing. Now I'm singing. <laughs> Shall I stop? This really, really fine tune. This area here, uh, so it's merging. It's in equanimity with the rest, but, uh, and then I'll call it done. 
Yeah, this is this seems unresolved here. I'll 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 show you a close up of this is so beautiful. The paint is wet. Mm. Okay, I see. <laughs> I see. I see. Mm -hmm. This one final. <laughs> Is there such a thing as a final thing? Keeps going on and on and on. And if you're interested in gifting this painting, this adorable little painting to someone, um, for friends, family, let me know and we can chat about it. Uh, I will sell it off. Uh, I'll be happy. Uh, if you are having this, it's beautiful and uh, it will be something special because you witnessed this come to life. Okay, now <laughs> as I went to do one thing, the other thing is like regression testing in software. You know, fixing one thing, test if it breaks anything else. Make and break. No, it's all making, not breaking. So all that happened is uh, this green back there. This green got uh, this is a brush actually pulled out the green as well as softening that edge and transition between the light and shadow. Okay, let's call it a day. Call it a painting. Mm. I can still come back with the brightest white there and add just a hint of it. Um, I'm using titanium white. Ooh, fun. Ooh, before anything else, I think I'll stop. Or not. Ah, oh, look at that. That just gave it a... Carving these occlusion areas where the light is not reaching. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I want to do more. 
I want to do more. I don't want to stop. Yeah, so I was saying that if you're uh, interested in this painting, just contact me, my website or my email address, ashwini at ashwinisadekar.com. Uh, and let me know. Uh, we can arrange. Uh, I, I'll ship this painting free uh, wherever you are at. Uh, I'm just adding those darks again. Um, it will be a beautiful gift during. So. Mm. The painting and speaking is a fun task. Okay, now I'm calling it done. <laughs> and I'm calling it not done. Fun task, fantastic. I am ultimately calling it done. I will uh, give you a close up. Did I say I calling the okay. We are ready for the big reveal. I can still <laughs> Uh, so how would I continue working on this or uh, how would I continue developing it? This is done yet. Yeah, I can just soften these edges that I see. Uh, so they're not like drastic, dramatic. Uh, at this point, the laid in, uh, it's nicely laid in. Oh, we're, we're so over time. You're welcome to stay because I'm enjoying. And if you're enjoying, stay on. Just going over and softening. What I'm looking at here is, you know, that there is no shock as such. Okay. How about the big reveal? I will turn the camera towards myself. And... Ta-da! Ah! Oh my God, don't you want to just... Grab it and straight, hold it straight, Ashwini. Yeah. Don't you want to just grab it and, uh, uh, you know, have this ornament onto, decorated onto the tree? It's so special. So if you're interested in, uh, in this painting, let me know. I will be mounting this on a board and I'll also frame this. So it's going to be a beautiful painting uh yeah just i will share my i will share my uh, website and contact information in the chat that you can uh, contact me ask me about the 
A S H W I N I S C D E K A R. Ask me about dot com. Uh, about the size, the dimensions. Uh, two things at a time. And my email is S A T A Ashwini at Ashwini Sadekar. Hope I spelled it all right. Cool. You have that info. You have this painting. Um, if you want to take a look at my palette, uh, it's a task to show both the painting and the palette. Okay, here is the palette. And back to painting again. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for. Uh, being here and enjoying this demo. Um, if you have any questions or uh, class related, um, you know, inquiries, I do manage my back end uh, teaching classes and uh, um, managing enrolling students and also uh, just answering your questions. So I'm the one who is responding to you via email. So if you're interested in taking classes with me, uh, I teach uh, group classes and also uh, uh, in-person classes, uh, online classes and in-person classes. And my online classes are ongoing. They're called the Secret Language of Color. Um, so if you want to learn this Secret Language of Color, do contact me and uh, we'll chat about it what your art goals are and uh, where you would like to take your uh, painting what's your painting vision and yeah meet where you are at and take your paintings to where you'd like to go so i hope you enjoyed that and thanks so much i'll see you next time take care bye Have a wonderful, uh, have a wonderful time. Um, I won't be seeing you until next year, so don't miss me as much. If you do, please uh, watch the YouTube channel where I have uh, tutorials. And uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, take care of yourself and enjoy.